Hello and welcome to our Mathematics Olympiad exam tutorial for today. In today's tutorial, we're going to solve for x in the equation 2 to the power of 2x squared divided by 4 to the power of x equal to 16. We are actually asked to find the value of x. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to also share this video with friends and colleagues. Thanks so much. Now let's solve this question. Now to solve this question, I want you to notice something about this unique question. In this question, you will notice that this, this, and this can all be form can all form a common base, and that is two. So the first thing we we'll all think of doing is to uh, find out the way we can reduce all of them to a common base, which is 2. Now let's go ahead to do that. If we do that, we are going to have that to now become 2 to the power of 2x squared. This is already having its own 2. And this will be 2 to the power of 2, all multiplied by x. And this will be equal to, uh, this will be equal to 2 to the power of 4. Remember, 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Now, let's uh, pick up a rule in indices. In that rule of indices, we will have uh, a to the power of m multiplied by n. This can be equal to a to the power of m n. So, let's apply that rule over here. If we apply that rule over here, we're going to have this to become 2 to the power of 2x square, right? We're going to have that to be equal to 2 to the power of 2x square divided by uh, 2 to the power of 2x. That will be 2 to the power of 2x, and that will be equal to 2 to the power of 4. Fine. Now, remember a law of indices once more that if you have, this is what we call the division law of indices, a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y. This can be equal to a to the power of x minus y. You remember that? Now, let's apply that here. If we apply that here, we're going to have this to become 2 to the power of 2x squared minus 2x and that will be equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, let's go further. We can simply look at this to find out that we have same base and if we have x to the power a to the power of x equal to a to the power of y, we can simply say our x is equal to y. Now, if we apply that here, because we have same base, we'll have this to become 2x, the exponent to equate 2x squared minus 2x, and that will be equal to 4. Fine. So, let's subtract 4 from both sides to form a quadratic equation. 2x squared minus 2x minus 4, and that will be equal to 4 minus 4, which will give us what? This will give us 0. So if we simplify this, we are going to have a 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 to be equal to 0. And this forms what we call a quadratic equation. Now, how do we solve this quadratic equation? We solve this quadratic equation using the factorization method or using the quadratic method. I think we'll find the factorization method very easy. And because we have two factors, this and then this, all we need to do is to multiply 2 by negative 4. And if we multiply 2 by negative 4, we're going to have a negative 8. So our focus will be on negative 8. We're going to look for two values we can multiply that will give us a negative 8. And when we add such two values, we are going to have a negative uh, 2. 
what are those two values that we can multiply that will give us a negative 8 and when we add such two values we're going to have a negative 2. Now those two values can be 4 and what and 2 because 4 times 2 will give us 8. Now if we want to have a negative 2 all we need to do is to make sure we put a negative sign to the 4 because 4 is larger comparing to 2 and the positive side will be 2. Now negative times positive will give us negative right 4 times 2 will give us 8. Now when we have a negative 4 uh, adding a, a positive 2 we're going to have a negative 2 because the negative 4 is greater than the positive 2. So that gives us the values we are looking for. Now we can simplify from there. Now the two factors are a negative 4 and a negative 2. So we'll have a 2x squared minus the negative 4, 4x plus a negative 2, 2x minus 4, and this will be equal to 0. So we can simplify 2x is common over here, and this will give us uh, we take two, if we take 2x off this point, we're going to have, uh, we take 2x off this point, we're going to have uh, x remaining here, and that will be minus what? 2, and this will be what? 2 is common, that will give us a positive 2, and then we'll have uh, x minus 2, and this will be equal to 0. So, We'll bring out 2x, which are the external value plus 2, and then we'll have our common value x minus 2, and this will be equal to 0. We'll have our x minus 2, and this will be equal to 0. So we'll have our 2x plus 2 to be equal to 0, or we'll have our x minus 2 to be equal to 0. So from here, we can simply add both sides. We can simply subtract 2 from both sides. We'll have our 2x plus 2 minus 2. That will be equal to 0 minus 2. 2 can easily clear 2. And then we'll have that value to become, that value to become 2x equal to a negative 2. Divide both sides by 2. If we divide both sides by 2, we'll have our x to be equal to a negative 1. Now, on this other side, we'll have our x minus 2 to be equal to 0. If we add 2 to both sides, we'll have our x minus 2 plus 2, and that will be equal to 0 plus 2. So 2 we clear 2 and then we'll have our x to be equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. So you see, we finally got in our two values for x. We will have our x to be equal to negative 1 or we we'll have uh, it as positive 2. These are the two values of x that satisfies our exponential equation up there. Now, I want to give you a tax, and the tax is, I want you to take those two values of x, simplify them into this main equation, or this main value, and then see if you can get this value, that is what, that is 16. Try out that, and drop your comment in the comment section, and I will be so glad to engage with you. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to like this video, and also share it with your friends. And colleagues and also remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions thanks for watching and bye bye for now